Coming right up, the Pelicans take it on the Lakers. For the Pelicans, kind of a seesaw affair over the last 10 games. But this team feels they are better than a 500 team. They'll look to tip that balance with a win here. Lakers, Pelicans, it's next. Welcome to 2K Sports. What could be better than kicking back on a Sunday afternoon watching the NBA? Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. A moment here to see the numbers for Trey Murphy. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the three, the small forward. And for the Pelicans, Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Zion and Valanciunas in the middle. And it's McCollum at the point. Most NBA fans are looking ahead to the playoffs. But what's on the mind of the players at this point of the season, Grant? Well, B.A., focusing just on the postseason is a big mistake. Players know you have to be focused on the task at hand. You have to stay in the moment. Only think about that game right in front of you. So the Pelicans win the tip. Pass to Jones. Back to McCollum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Russell. Shot clock at six. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Williamson, no good. James, outside. Pass to Achimura. Back to James. And here's Davis. Covered by Williamson. The jump hook. Davis hits. So tough to contain Anthony Davis inside. That's his office. Ingram against Achimura. Valanchunas with a screen on Achimura. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. We played just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Reeves. Now, here is James. And he buries his first look. LeBron definitely knows how to operate inside. A dangerous finisher. Here's Valanchunas. Stolen by Russell. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Davis slams it home. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Russell against McCollum. Alan Chuna sets a screen. McCollum into the lane. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Smitty, what impresses you about C.J. McCollum's game as a ball handler? B.A., well, he's a terrific passer, but also a consistent scoring option. I'm impressed with how he balances those two aspects of his job. C.J. McCollum is the kind of player any team would love to have. He does so many things well. Nails it from beyond the arc. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Russell against McCollum. Outside Ingram. Beyond the arc. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. Continuing to extend his range. Brandon Ingram shows tremendous confidence now. Shooting from any spot on the floor. 
Now here's Russell coming off a solid outing against Memphis. And Davis slams it home. You see his link, the explosion, making sure of that one. The Pelicans trail. Alan Chunas with a screen on Achimura. Ingram, the pass to Alan Chunas. Outside Jones. Now McCollum. Just five to shoot. Alan Chunas with a screen on Russell. Shots good by McCollum. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. James passes to Achimura. Russell against McCollum. Hachimura outside. Davis with a screen on Williamson. Again, the Lakers. Yeah, their offense is really humming right now. They just can't miss. Outside Jones. They set the pick. Puts up a three. Count it. One for one to start the game. Some of Jones' minutes are dictated by how well he shoots the three ball. Pass to Reeves. And here's Russell. Now, here is James. Covered by Ingram. Hachimura from long range. Rebounded by New Orleans. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. They embraced the challenge as well. They hit big shot after big shot to keep the other team at bay. Now here's Hachimura. He's scoreless. Pass to Davis. Over Ingram. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Tries to spin move. From eight feet away, Williamson no good. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. Yeah, they looked right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. Now here's Valanchunas. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. McCollum's shot is off. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. And it's in there. Coming out hot. Four out of five. This could be a big game for him. New Orleans has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Williamson with a screen on Russell. James against McCullum. Over James. That one a little long. Los Angeles has gone one of two from three-point land so far. It's James on the wing. Hachimura outside. That three's off the mark. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Pass to Ingram. Back to Williamson. Outside Ingram. McCollum with it. Down to five on the shot clock. McCollum with another miss. Achimura against Ingram. Achimura, the pass to Russell. Back to Achimura. Here's Reeves. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Let's check in on the Western Conference standings as the race to the playoffs continues. Taking a look at New Orleans, holding down the sixth spot right now in the middle of this conference. And checking out the Lakers. They're in the eighth spot. Seeing where the Pelicans are, we'll see if they can up the ante down the stretch. They still have a lot of work to do in order to rise to the top. I agree. As good as they've been, they do seem like they're missing that true killer instinct that sets the great teams apart from the good ones. New Orleans calls timeout. On our 2K leaderboard, the NBA scoring leaders over the last 10 games. Fourth, LeBron James, and of course, C.J. McCollum. These last couple games, both these guys have been red hot, finding buckets with ease and playing from the heart. Lakers on D. Now 
Valanchunas with a screen on Russell. Clock at six. Pass to Ingram. The shot. Bearing his second of three attempts. Well, that is why we call CJ a combo guard. He can score with the best, but he also can facilitate. Here's James. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It'll be on Zion Williamson. Man, the defender really went after him. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And I just love playing on teams like this, passing teams. You can tell they really like playing with each other, and hopefully they keep this up. We don't get too many generational players, and LeBron James, he is definitely one of them. Alvarado's checked in for McCollum. The Lakers also with a sub. Brent has checked in for Achimura. So one for two that time at the strike. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. For Los Angeles, they've got 7 of 11 shots to find the mark. Here's Reeves, covered by Ingram. Here's Davis. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Alvarado, the pass to Williamson. Now here's Valanchunas. Pass to Williamson. To the right side. Let's it go from deep. Drills it from deep. And the Pelicans lead by one. Not Zion's favorite place to shoot from, but when he's focused, he can drain those. It's Prince on the wing. Back to James. Here's Reeves. Driving inside. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. For me, it's all about the paint. I like how they've utilized the post, looking to dump it down and capitalize when they see opportunities. It's paying off. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Now here's Williamson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Golden State. And it wasn't just the scoring. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. The Lakers in the lead. Davis, the pass to Reeves. And here's Reddish. Back to Reeves. Oh, there's the alley! And stolen by Alvarado. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Pass to Valentunas. Now here's Williamson. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. That's about as tough as a finish you'll see. But when you're up against someone as strong as Zion, contact doesn't phase him. Here's Reeves, covered by Ingram. Davis with a screen on Ingram. From 11 feet away, Davis can't hit. New Orleans has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Here's Ingram, takes the 12-footer and hits it. Ingram's got seven points. He's hot this quarter getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pass to Reddish. The Pelicans pull it in. Outside Ingram. And there's the drive, and a slam dunk by Ingram. Look how Ingram just bursts inside, disrupting the D and carving out a path 
to the dunk. Pass to Prince. Here's Davis. Reeves, the pass to Prince. Sinks the tray. I love that focus of Torian Prince. Hand all in his face, and he still knocked it down. Now Valanchunas. Williamson, left side. Prince grabs the miss. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Davis, the pass to Vincent. Here's Reeves. The three. And another three for the Lakers. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Now here's Ingram. Tight defense on him. High post, Valanchunas. Outside for Ingram. From the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now. Pass to Vincent. Back to Davis. Nice D from Valanchunas. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for Los Angeles. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. Guys, what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Well, I'll tell you what. Throughout the first, they did a great job of just running their offense. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified the right matchups and the execution is there. Here's Vincent. Still without a bucket. So on the floor for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. Hayes is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Prince. Then it's Gabe Vincent. And it's Reddish in at the two. Here's Hawkins. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. The Lakers are trying to get back in contention. LeBron James said we want to win at the highest level. Setting records or passing greats in a losing effort has never been in my DNA. That's never mattered unless it was all about winning. Brian, they're still trying to translate his individual greatness into another title. Yeah, that's the goal. All right, Allie, thank you. Prince, a screen on McCullum. Shot clock at five. James, outside. Here's the three. And it's Hawkins with a rebound. New Orleans has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Here's Marshall. James with the block. That was well-timed. It's hard to out-anticipate LeBron. Here's Hawkins. The three. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Smitty, part of what makes LeBron James so inspiring is how competitive he is still. B.A., I don't think he'll ever lose that fire in his eyes. But you're right. He's still hungry. Every game, even the little ones, LeBron wants to win just as bad as ever. Shot selection still needs a little work, but Cam Reddish has excellent range on the jumper. McCollum on the left side. The shot from the low post is good. McCollum's got five points in the quarter. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. And the Pelicans making a change here. Jones has checked in. in the high post. 
Pass to Reddish. Four on the clock. From 11 feet away, that one won't fall. He's one for three on the day. New Orleans has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. McCullum outside. Prince against Jones. Nance with a screen on Prince. Jones, the pass to Nance. Paddles through traffic and lays it in. And now it's a five-point New Orleans lead. Pass to Vincent. Hayes with a screen on McCullum. Here's Vincent. Got a hand on it. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Nance outside. Out to the right wing. McCullum outside. Nance with a screen on James. McCullum's shot is off. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Vincent passes to Hayes. And that one's drained from the low block. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, pass to Marshall. Back to McCullum. This one for three. It's hauled in by Reddish. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Here's James. Reddish on the wing. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Reddish has got six here in the quarter. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Pass to Marshall. Now here's McCullum. Fires from deep. That won't go either for McCullum. Here's Vincent. The three is up. And another three for the Lakers. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Jones against Reddish. Here's Marshall. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Marshall's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Steps back. Oh, LeBron! Just too much to handle inside. Trying to slow down LeBron is like throwing a water balloon at a freight train. The contact simply doesn't bother him. McCullum outside. Fires top of the key. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pass to Hayes. Inside. James, outside. LeBron, a smooth operator inside. The indestructible one. LeBron brushing off contact with the easy deuce. Time, out, time called out. here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. And they want to avoid getting in foul trouble again. That's what really hurt them against this team last time. A really embarrassing loss indeed, and one that they will hopefully learn from. Got to keep your hands to yourself sometimes, or it could cost you the game. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Hayes. Achimura comes in for Prince. Reeves is checked in for Reddish. And Russell is subbed in for Vincent. Jones finds Ingram. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from the you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. And the Lakers with possession here, following the score by New Orleans. Puts it up. LeBron James again! James has got 11 points. Rock-solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. 
pass to Russell. Davis can't hit. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Now here's McCollum. He had 25 points in the win against the Warriors in San Francisco. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. James against Nance. Back to James. Pass to Davis. From deep. Knocks down the triple. And now it's a five-point Laker lead. Nice pass from A.D. Wanting to set up his open teammates. McCollum against Russell. From behind the arc. Nance, the pass to Ingram. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You gotta stay on your feet. Brandon Ingram is good at getting defenders to bite on the fake. If you look at Ingram, it seems like he only gets better with age, Smitty. Yeah, you're so right. There's a case to be made that since he won the Most Improved Player Award in 2020, he's only continued to improve. His game gets more well-rounded every season. That free throw, good from Ingram. With continued hard work, Brandon Ingram, in my opinion, has the talent and size and skill to be a top 10 player in this league. And the Pelicans making a change here. Marshall's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Prince is checked in. Both free throws good from Ingram. Here's Reeves. A 20-point game for him and the win against Memphis. Pass to Davis. Here's Prince. Here's Reeves. Six on the shot clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Here's Russell. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Marshall's got four rebounds in the game. Now Ingram. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That'll be a second foul of the game. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Alvarado's checked in for the Pelicans. Jones, the pass to Marshall. Back to Jones. Prince against Ingram. Here's Alvarado. Rebound, Anthony Davis. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Pass to Achimura. Here's Prince. Davis with it. Alvarado defending. Shot left block. And Davis with the basket on the assist from Prince. Davis has got 12 points in the game. For New Orleans, they've gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. And here is Williamson. Williamson with a screen on Prince. Here's Ingram. Two points. That one goes. Ingram's got four points this quarter. I like how Brandon Ingram weathers the inside coverage. Fighting his way to the bucket. Pass to Achimura. Good on the bucket. And the Lakers lead by five. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. To the middle. Here's Jones. Oh! And that one, no question, powered it down. Great job keeping his eyes up the floor. Zion's teammate making it easy and getting wide open. And it's Jose Alvarado with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. New Orleans making some changes. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Marshall. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Alvarado. Hachimura outside. Back to Russell. Pass to Prince. Now Davis. Valanchunas covering. Low block shot. No good off the glass. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Outside Jones. Ingram against Prince. Five on the clock. It's blocked by Davis. 
putting that seven foot six wingspan to use. AD continues to climb the all time blocks list. Davis a screen. Reeves the pass to Davis. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Davis has got 14. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Williamson with a screen on Prince. Here's Ingram. Rebound, the Lakers. 103 left in the first half. Davis finds Russell. Prince, a screen on McCullum. Russell from outside. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got five rebounds tonight. Ingram on the wing. Hachimura covering. Pass to McCullum. Outside Ingram. To the paint. Here's Williamson. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. This is where you like to see Zion go to work in the lane, where his size is a decided advantage. That's good from Williamson. The most important thing for Zion is staying healthy, because when he's on the floor, he's an elite talent. Vincent's checked in for Prince. Williamson hits them both. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Pass to Davis. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now here's Hachimura. Here's Davis. Valanchunas covering. Here's Reeves. There's the triple. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists now in this one. McCullum with it from deep three-point land. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so that brings the first half to a close. The Lakers on top, leading by six. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Good to be with you for halftime. Let's check in on the NBA action coming up later tonight. Out in Indiana, it'll be the Pacers against the Hawks. Start time, 1 o'clock Eastern. And this could be a close one, guys. Two evenly matched teams. I don't really know what else to say. And two fantastic teams. Could be a preview for the postseason. And guys, we saw an incredible performance from Anthony Davis in that first half doing what he does best. AD stands for all day in this one, Ernie. When he's fully engaged, I'm not sure if anyone has a bigger influence on the game. Yeah, offensively, he can score over you from any spot on the floor. Defensively, the brow can apply the clamps. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. The Lakers in the lead. The Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones, and it's Valanchunas in at the five. That's the group for Willie Green getting going here in the second half. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Davis against Ingram. And he's now six for 11 after that one. The production from Ingram just keeps getting better 
and better. A guy who knows how to get buckets. Russell, the pass to Achimura. Back to Russell. James, right side. And he lobs it up top. Here's Ingram. Second half getting started. About a minute play. Valanchunas with a screen on Achimura. Down low. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. James outside. Off the mark there with a three. New Orleans has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. Now, here is James. He's got 13. To the inside. Six to shoot. Davis hits. Off the pick and roll, AD used his size and took full advantage. Alan Chunas with a screen on Achimura. And Davis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. And the Pelicans with possession here. Pass to Russell. And here's James. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. That's just being out of sync and at the worst time, costly. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Williamson with a screen on Achimura. Ingram against James. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 20 points. Nimble ball handling by Ingram, allowing him to beat the D and find his shot. Davis, the pass to James. Just five on the clock. Shoots. And again, it's the Lakers. It's been a pleasure, as always, to watch LeBron work. A truly gifted player. Williamson with a screen on Achimura. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Ingram's got nine points in the quarter. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Pass to Achimura. James, a screen on Ingram. Here's Reeves. And here's Davis. Valanchunas covering. Back to Davis. James deciding where to go with it. Jacks up a three. McCollum pulls it in. For New Orleans, they've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Here's Ingram. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Pass to Davis. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Davis has got 18 points in the game. His offensive bag goes very deep. AD is so effective on that end. Williamson outside. Now here's McCollum. And here's Ingram from the arc. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. All about converting your opportunities. He just hit his second three of this half. Third of the night. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It'll be on Zion Williamson. You see the physicality of LeBron. Doesn't fear absorbing contact on the way up.
And he makes a first. And that's good as he hits both shots. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Trailing by two. Valanchunas with a screen on Achimura. Ingram finds Valanchunas. Love the aggression that Valanchunas showed there. He welcomed the contact inside to get to the line. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Another thing, we can give some love to the big men. Terrific post play tonight leading to efficiency on offense. That free throw misses. I love the toughness from Jonas Valanciunas, and he is lighting it up tonight. And no good on the second free throw, so 0 for 2 there. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. James, outside, pass to Achimura. And here's Russell. Fires the three. The shot is good by Reeves. Reeves has got 18 points in the game. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And the Lakers making a change here. Vincent's checked in. Check it out, the 2K leaderboard. These teams have been scorching the nets from range the last 10 games. Second, the Pelicans. The way they space the floor is why they get so many open three-pointers. It's all about how they consistently move around the court. McCullum against Russell. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. To the middle. Here's Ingram. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Each year, Brandon becomes a little more assertive at the offensive end. And we know he has the talent. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Ingram. Now, here is James. 17 points in the game. Pass to Russell. Outside Davis. Hachimura in the post. Covered by Ingram. Just four to shoot. And there's James from the up. Good! Another from three. And he's hit thousands of threes in the league oh my inching closer to fifth place on the career triples list yeah well Kyle Korver is currently fifth and of course Steph Curry has that number one spot pass to Williamson back to Ingram and a slam dunk by Ingram now nearly seven feet tall according to some reports wow Ingram making his presence felt at the rim now Achimura launches a three. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got his fourth assist in this one. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Williamson misses. And so Davis will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Vincent passes to James. Oh, great focus from James. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. McCullum looking it over. Valanchunas finds Ingram, drives to the hoop, uses the glass to finish the layup. Ingram's got 18 points now here in the second half. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. 
Pass to Achimura. Back to James. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. James has got 13 points now in the quarter. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Here's Valanchunas. Now here's Ingram. Achimura covering. McCullum against Russell. Here's Ingram. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Both teams will make substitutions. Free throw, good from Ingram. Los Angeles has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. And the Lakers call time here. All right, now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past few months for Jonas Valanciunas. And the last couple of months, the rebounding totals have taken a bit of a dive for him. Let's see if he can refocus and put more effort on the glass. And Trey Murphy is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Outside Reddish, back to Russell. Outside Reddish. Williamson against Prince. And finished off by Davis. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Inside, here's Vincent. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. Ingram, the pass to McCullum. Now here's Valanciunas. And he makes it. Valanciunas has got six. Valanciunas has made so many strides as a score since he started in the NBA. McCullum against Russell. On the wing, Davis. Stolen by Valanciunas. To the paint. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Zion plays with so much power. I love seeing him go strong like this. Here's Vincent, covered by Ingram. Goes up from the top of the key. Count it for Vincent. He's got five. New Orleans has gone two for two from deep here in the third. And here's Ingram. He's got 34. Banked it in off the glass. Ingram's got 36 points. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Two minutes remaining. Back to Russell. There's a minute 54 left to play in the third quarter here. Davis a screen. And it's Vincent off the drive. Rejected by Valanchunas. Those are the plays you want from Valanchunas on the defensive end. Didn't hesitate to challenge the shot. And Ingram has got the ball here for the Pelicans. Using his post moves to get the two points. Ingram's got 38 points. He's done everything he can to give them a lift tonight, but it hasn't been enough. Here's Vincent, covered by Ingram. And Davis gets double teamed. The three from Prince. Rebounded by New Orleans. Now Williamson. Nine points in the game.
Back to Ingram. Pass to McCullum. Five to shoot. Puts up a deep three. The shot by Ingram, no good. Los Angeles has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Davis, the pass to Russell. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Russell's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Ingram. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Strong move by A.D. You see why he's been averaging seven to eight free throws a game over the past few seasons. The first one falls. You know, it's so many things A.D. can do on the floor to help your team win. Both shots good from the strike. And really strong at the line since the break. McCollum outside. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. McCollum's got 15 points. Always under control. CJ gets a little breathing room and quickly fires the pull-up jumper. With one on the clock. And the basket is good. And the Lakers lead by 10. And so it's Los Angeles ending the quarter up 10. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back with you shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Well, the Pelicans shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. On the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. LeBron James out there with Torian Prince. Then there's Cam Reddish. Then there's Jackson Hayes. And it's Vincent in at the one. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Pass to James. Here's Vincent. Hayes with a screen. 11 feet out. Clock at six. Got it. Good job in the low post. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Ingram finds Jones. And it goes! As the official calls the foul it and he'll shoot one more at the line not everyone is going to score 20 points a game and herb jones has embraced his role on the defensive side smitty ba some call him the straight jacket because what he does on the deepest of end he's tall and lanky and he's not easy to shake off That's good from Jones. You can tell Herb Jones is an ambitious young player looking to add to his game and evolve so he can do more for his team. There's a screen. Outside Reddish. Pass to Prince. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two.
First free throw is good. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality, and Prince has that. And he can't hit the second. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Over Hayes. That one rolls around and rims out. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been unreal. 64% from the floor. Down low. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Larry Nance picks one up. A solid shooter with good all-around skills. Cam Reddish is tough to anticipate defensively. Two shots. First one falls for him. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. And he makes both free throws. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Inside. And Nance with the slam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Pass to James. James double teamed. Here's Prince. No good there. For New Orleans, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Alvarado, the pass to Ingram. Nance with a screen on Prince. Rejected by James. And he recovers it. Out of bounds. Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. D'Angelo Russell, he's checked in for Los Angeles. D'Angelo Russell. Here's Alvarado, and it's rejected. Here's Vincent, defended by Jones. Rebounded by New Orleans. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Pass to Ingram. Shot clock at five. Here's Nance. And Nance with the slam. Unselfish, good decision maker. Brandon makes his teammates better. The Lakers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. And here's James. Fades. Count it. Good. James has got 15 points here in the second half. You really have to question the defensive effort on that possession. They are getting bare tonight with plays like that one, allowing too much space for a good shooter. Now here's Ingram. And the layup is good off the glass. Ingram's got 40 points. Hey, he's doing everything he can to keep them afloat. Here's James. Here he goes. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one on Murphy. The aggressive mindset. LeBron putting it on the deck and drawing contact. LeBron James. Two shots. He's off on the first. Valanchunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And the Lakers also making a change. Dinwiddie, he's checked in for Vincent. He hits the second from the line. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. The players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, B.A., that's why they call it a partnership. We talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. Pass to Valanchunas. Dinwiddie against Jones. Valanchunas with a screen on Dinwiddie. Jones. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And finished off by Hayes. 
And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Ingram. Launches it. Connects from downtown. Making the right pass to the right guy. Murphy was all lined up and ready to strike. Then when he passes to Hayes. Outside Russell. They set a pick. The three ball. The Pelicans pull it in. Alan Junis has got rebound number eight now. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Ingram, the pass to Valanchunas. For three. And that one's good. Ingram for three. Ingram's got 43 points. Sending shockwaves now. That's his third triple of this half. Fourth of the game. Pass to Hayes. Back to James. Hayes with a screen. James passes to Hayes. Misses in close. The Pelicans have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jones. Alan Tunis with a screen on Russell. Here's Ingram. Lays it up and banks it in. And now just a three-point Laker lead. Showing some nice handles in the pick and roll. Ingram's creativity is fun to watch in these sets. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got seven assists in the game. Alvarado outside. Valanchunas passes to Ingram. Back to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. He goes hard to the cup. Valanchun is one of the best role men in the game. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. Hayes with it to the inside. Here's Dinwiddie. Buries it down low. Dinwiddie's got five points now this quarter. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 13 shots timeout, to find timeout. the basket in the fourth quarter. New Orleans calls timeout. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. Williamson's checked in for the Pelicans. C.J. McCollum comes in for Alvarado. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. He was very upbeat and positive, saying to his guys, let's go, let's go. I want you guys to up the pace. Look to push the ball up the floor whenever you can. They cannot stop us in transition. Let's see how the team responds. Guys? All right, appreciate it, Allie. James against Jones. LeBron fires one down. With the elite handle, LeBron has defenders at his mercy. Ingram against Achimura. The shot by Ingram, no good. Los Angeles has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Back to Davis. James outside. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Achimura from long range. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. They set the pick. And here's Ingram outside. Hits a three-pointer. Ingram's got 48. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Pass to James. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Wow, their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Now here's McCollum. Outside Ingram. Rebound, the Lakers. James has got four rebounds now. Outside Russell. Back to James. 
Out to Achimura. Fires for three. Pure from three-point range. And the Lakers lead by 14. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Outside Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on Achimura. Pass to Valanchunas. Stolen by Davis. Top of the key. Here's Reeves. Up and in on the layup. Reeves has got 20 points. Also points count just like any others. That's a great play. Can they get it? Yet another bucket. My goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. James passes to Davis. Now here's Russell. Now here is James. Pass to Davis. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Russell, the pass to Achimura. Over Ingram. And again, it's the Lakers. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Davis against Valanchunas. Here's Ingram. And it's good. He hits another one. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. James against Williamson. Pass to Reeves. Over Jones. The shot by Reeves. No good. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. Alan Junis with it. And Reeves pulls it down. James against Ingram. And for the players coming into the league, potentially set for life. But there are pitfalls you have to look out for, Grant. It's so true, B.A. I mean, it's tough. You can't take all your childhood friends along for the ride with you. You've got to be cautious with new acquaintances, so it'll definitely keep you on your toes. You must make great decisions. They throw good. Achimura. And so he's able to get one of two. New Orleans is shooting 55% since the start of the fourth. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Lakers. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. <laughs> B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And tonight, a fantastic effort to deliver their 48th win of the year. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for LeBron James. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving, kept everyone involved. Really enjoyable to watch. Russell a screen on Jones. Outside Russell. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. And the Lakers lead by 16. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Now here's Ingram. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Double team on Ingram. Just five to shoot. Williamson finds McCullum. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. It's James on the wing. Pass to Reeves. Hachimura with the ball. Covered by Ingram. Here's Davis. Good on the shot. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on them. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. 
So we see the Lakers taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. All right, thanks, guys. D'Angelo, some great basketball tonight. Talk about the winning habits this team is forming. Keeping it simple on the offensive end, limiting our errors on the defensive end. I think that piles up. We stay solid throughout the whole game. It's just simple, man. I think the, the simple we keep it, the better we are as a team. Keep it simple. What a great reminder. Thanks, D'Angelo. All right, Allie, thank you. That's it, folks. The NBA regular season is in the books. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James.